and stuff in my car was shown. Today's video is about how to install a custom dual exhaust tip made by Pace Setter, previously known as Monza, on this MK5 Volkswagen Jetta. Let's get started. These are the items that I gathered before installing it. The next step is very obvious since you have to have room to work underneath. You need to lift the car up. There's no need to lift the front end. The back's fine, so go ahead and lift it up. Place some jazzness under the control arms for safety. Make sure that the uh, vehicle is in gear or in park if it's automatic. Put some blocks uh, in the front and back of the front tires to keep it from rolling. So when you look at this MK5 Jettas from the back, it appears it only has one muffler at the very back. And that is not the case. I'm going to show you. So obviously this is the first one that can be seen from the back. Very clear, right? But if you follow the pipe, then you got this other gigantic muffler over here. And if that wasn't enough, you still have this one over here. And the catalytic converter up front. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one. I am gonna get rid of this one. That way the exhaust tips can do their job, which is enable the resonator to give it a cool sound. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the pipe off right there with my cutoff wheel. So there's a small part up on top that I cannot get to with a cutoff tool uh, without damaging anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cutting it with this hacksaw. And there it is. Obviously if you don't have a cutoff tool a metal hawk side will do, or a jigsaw, either way. The whole idea is just to cut it off. Now I know I didn't mention it earlier, but you definitely need to use safety glasses or goggles so when you cut the pipe, you don't get metal shavings in your eyes. So remove this one, and this one, and once you're getting the second one off, hold the muffler with one hand as you remove it, so it doesn't fall and hit you on the face. Steady it with my knee for right now. And then just remove the muffler. Just remove this bulky muffler. I have a piece of two and a quarter pipe right here, and this is two and a half. The two and a half pipe fits over the original Volkswagen pipe. Obviously if you buy a two and a half exhaust tip then you won't have to do this. But I'm just mentioning that in case you end up buying the same thing I did. And then I bent this a little bit more because it was, the angle was not enough. Because it was a 45 degree and it was not enough angle and if I went to 90 degree would be too much and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a clamp here and a clamp here so this clamp will tighten both of these and then this one will fasten to the pipe okay so once I have this clamp on Next thing is I'm going to put another section of pipe from the original supplies I mentioned. This is the two and a quarter. It's kind of guided in. And I'm going to see where I'm going to have to cut it. I'm going to cut it right there.
So this one's gonna go in all the way on this side. Where I'm going to put the uh, hanger. So right there is the look that I want. Now I can see where I'm going to put that hanger. I'm going to go ahead and use the original bolts. So I'm going to bend this bracket and I'm going to tap, I'm going to weld it to the tips right there. So I'm going to measure the distance in between the bolts first. So I have Center to center on the ball, it's about three and a quarter. Let's see what the what the bracket looks like. May have to grind it a little bit. So then I would that would give me another if I bend it five and a half. Yeah, that's about perfect. I did a test fit, and yes, I was right. I need to grind the outer edge where the bolts are going to go on. So they can fit. You already saw me elongating the holes a little bit so the bolts can fit. So test fitting is important. I'm gonna have to cut this off and I'm gonna just weld it to the edge. I won't be able to use this section at all which this is for the clamp anyways. So now I know I have to cut this right there. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna mark it right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind this so the well can stick. Alright, so I have it right where I marked it and I'll start to weld it. So there it is, bracket is welded on. Okay, that's center, that's level. And the next step is to put another clamp here, another one here, and another one here. So that's how the exhaust looks like from underneath. I'm going to give you a closer look now that the clamps are on. Very clean look. You know, I got the clamps installed and I even put a little bit of paint, like I said I would, right here. I want to mention another thing too. If you want your car to be louder, 
you can always get rid of that muffler. You don't want to get rid of the little one in the center because your car is going to backfire a lot. But if the sound that we're going to get from the changes that I just made are not loud enough for you, you can always get rid of this and put a straight piece of pipe instead. To me this is going to be perfect because it's going to give it a nice deep sound but it's going to sound like a new car and not so loud that it sounds old. You'll see what I mean in a second.